We are now just a year away from the Tokyo 2020 Summer Olympics. And if you've been watching today, you know one of the hottest new sports to watch is skateboarding. Daniela has been having so much fun. Yeah. It would look like she's having fun. I'm sure she is. That's because members of the first U.S. Olympic skateboard team are going to be named next week. And now and then, there's going to be, of course, be a lot of excitement in all the qualifying events. As we said, today in L.A.'s Daniela Guzman is with some of the top park skaters right now. Daniela. Hey, hey guys, good afternoon. Did you just see that? Wasn't that amazing? Yeah, it is so thrilling. They're so agile. They're so fast. That's my new friend Josh right there. He comes all the way from San Diego just to skate here because this is where dreams come true. Two new skating games are going. There he goes again. Uh, they're going into the Olympics. We're talking about street, which is all the ramps and the stairs. And then this is park skating, basically a big bowl of cement with a whole bunch of humps and curves. And you get to do all that fun stuff. You know, this is part of the sport. Good job, Josh. You're doing amazing. But I also want to introduce you to Tom Shar. He has been skating his entire life. And a lot of his friends describe him as being really laid back. He's broken a whole bunch of cool records, and he's really excited to go to Tokyo. Wow. Gets it. Wow. Whoa, Tom, huge tail grab. Wow. I mean, skating is, it's, it's just the best sport. You can be so free with it. Tom Shar was just three years old when his older brother, John, got him on a skateboard. His dad had him on a half pipe at age four. So you can go really fast and just kind of fly around, and that seemed pretty fun to me as a little kid. Born in Malibu, Tom was a mega ramp kid skating big air with big tricks. Just recently I got 900. That's the like best accomplishment of my life until yesterday. At 12, yes, just 12 years old, Tom spun himself into history books by being the first skater to ever land a 1080. That is three full rotations in the air. That was pretty much a huge shock to me. I didn't really think it was going to happen. Now, another chance at history as Tom looks to qualify for Team USA when skateboarding makes its Olympic debut next summer. It's the Olympics. It's a huge deal to me. It's, you know, I get to represent my country possibly, which is the biggest honor there is, really. And, uh, I mean, it is the Olympics and all, but I am trying to think about it just like it is in other contests, so I can, I don't know, I mean, so I don't freak myself out, I guess. Despite the Olympic hype, Tom says that the vibe in skate parks is as much about camaraderie as competition. Skating's probably the only, one of the only sports that there isn't really, like, any rivalries or no one really hates, there's no, nothing like that. It's just, you know, your friend does a really great run and you clap and cheer and, Everyone roots everyone on, and it's it's really great because you know you see someone land something really cool, and it you know makes you want to go do something really cool. Tom says skateboarding his whole life comes with lessons that get him ready for whatever lies ahead. I mean, you just are constantly getting beat up skating, so you just learn not to give up on something easy. You know, one of the cool things about skateboarding is that when they compete, they have 45 seconds just to do whatever they want. They don't have a routine like in gymnastics, and they get to feel free. And I think that's part of the spirit that skateboarders really love, just like these kids right here who just get to show off and skate with their buddies. So much fun. We have so much more coming up. We'll send it back to you live from Huntington Beach.